Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this effect. It looks kind of strange because we have hand and uh, other hands on fingers or something like that. Uh, but oh well, I'm going to teach you more of photo manipulation thing. Uh, for this effect, you will need to have a few images. Uh, one is for your hand. You need to have enough space for these hand fingers kind of like that and you will have to photograph your hand in different shapes so you can replace your fingers with these hands so just like that if you want you can download these images from description below i will provide original images resized images uh, for faster workflow or something and cropped out images so uh, you don't need to crop them out you just uh, play around with this effect so i have used flash on every image so i have same lighting on every image and i don't need to i don't know play around with curves or something uh, i just need to place these hands on the fingers or something that was just small tip for you if you want to photograph images by yourself. And now let's get started. I will use cropped images and I will drag and drop first image into paint.net. Uh, I will add new layer, move it down, choose paint bucket tool, right click on image. So I will have white background and uh, I can recall this bg for background and i can call this hand now uh, these are the, the five images i'm going to use so let's drag and drop them into paint.net click add layers now turn off every layer except bg hand and this first finger and let's place it. To rotate, right click and move your mouse just like that. Now to resize, hold left shift and uh, on any of these corners place your mouse and just to resize like that. So it will keep the proportion. Uh, you can change this layer opacity so you can see better. I will zoom in. So when you have something like this, click the select, choose a eraser tool with any size which will be good for you and erase some extra. Now choose gradient tool with transparency mode and do something like this. Uh, change opacity back to normal and you have got your first uh, hand, finger, something like that. Ctrl B to zoom out to normal view and uh, yeah that's awesome. Let's do this with the other fingers. So turn on uh, another layer and uh, use the rectangle select tool, select something like this and move selected pixels tool and move it into place. Of course change opacity and uh, let's do this. So I'm not going to do all fingers because it's time consuming and I want to finish this tutorial as fast as I can. So when you're done you can turn off background layer visibility or if you want to keep your white background you can just leave this layer as it is then go to image flatten and it will flatten all visible layers so if you didn't want it to have this white background you just needed to turn off its visibility or just delete that layer and then flatten the image so yeah that's all this is uh, what you need to get something like that 
uh, I have just started. I have showed uh, you the way you can do this effect. And uh, I think that's all. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and I see you next time.